This is a story that I saw floating around yesterday, and I had to talk about it because Rachel Zegler, quite frankly, is the talk of the town. Rachel Zegler, who has found herself mired in controversy after controversy over the past few years, ever since Disney announced her as the first Latina Snow White, and we're so proud to virtue signal over that. Didn't go over very well because Rachel Zegler can't keep her fucking mouth shut, whether it's insulting the original, whether it's divisive political messaging, or whether it's just, quite frankly, attacking Trump supporters. Rachel Zegler has just been, like, her entire career so far has just been full of backlash after backlash. And it was exactly the same with this. Now, of course, she apologized, and no one really takes that apology very seriously. But then... This popped up yesterday, Jeremy. Snow White and Shazam, Fury of the God star, Rachel Zegler, is reportedly being eyed for an MCU role. This is not true. (laughs) Listen, this comes from uh, Scooper, my time to shine, hello. I I often rage about how much I fucking hate Scoopers. (laughs) Because whenever we have these big announcements, like the Simon Kinberg thing that came out, where was any single fucking Scooper over that story? They were nowhere to be found. They weren't present. They didn't hear about it. When all this stuff actually gets announced or happens, these major massive announcements, somehow the Scoopers didn't know anything. But it's stuff that they'll say like this. Marvel Studios wants Rachel Zegler for a role. Which role do you think she could play? (laughs) Now, if I was just somebody who is looking to be uh, in the scoop game and just throw shit out there and hope it sticks, this is the perfect thing to say. Uh, Someone who is right now in the middle of a major controversy, who you're going to get a lot of interaction when you talk about them. And if somehow this happens, you're like, look, I talked about it. I brought this up. And if it doesn't happen, what do you say? Well, there was just so much backlash. I guess they decided not to bring her in. It's, It's bulletproof, right? Yeah. And obviously this went exactly the way you would expect everyone in the comments laughing or saying, no, fuck, no, stay away. We don't want this. We don't want this. Uh, But let's entertain it for a moment, I suppose, Jeremy. The idea of Rachel Zegler, who has destroyed, single-handedly destroyed the Snow White movie for Disney. Do you think there's a shot that they want her to become part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Zero. I think there's zero chance that this is even being discussed. I think that they would stay far away from her based on what we've seen from the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the most recent phase and how they've had diminishing returns on top of diminishing returns. Obviously, uh, the Marvels uh, was the biggest disaster ever for them. So the answer isn't to bring in someone even more unlikable than the current women in the mcu that is not going to help the mcu at all zero per chance zero chances this is even being discussed by marvel zero yeah uh like if they were to do it it would in exactly the same way we've seen with the snow white thing um she has quickly become one of the most unlikable people in the industry period which is a which is an accomplishment It is an accomplishment for someone who is, like, just starting off her acting career. You know, it's not like she's been around for all that long. Plucked out of obscurity by Steven Spielberg for his West Side Story disaster that he made. Um, And I I do not think that this is something that's going to come to fruition. But if it did happen, it, it would be just another example of them being completely out of touch and clueless when it comes to these things. Hell, maybe there's been so many... Goddamn people in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they're running out of actors. I don't know. There's been a lot of there's been a lot of people in the MCU at this point. But I have a hard time believing that there's really any validity to this. Let me say, I absolutely hope that it's true. I just don't believe that it's true. Because I don't I don't care about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And if they want to make a decision to bring this unlikable person into their universe after everything that's happened with the Snow White movie and how unlikable she is and how horrible of a person she is, then I'm all for that uh, because I don't think that I don't think Disney deserves any respect whatsoever. And I don't think that they uh, I don't want them to necessarily improve. I'm fine with them continuing to make bad decisions on top of bad decisions. Would it be nice if Disney actually returned to the glory days of Disney? A hundred percent. Do I think that that's possible? No, I don't think that's possible at all. I don't think that they're anywhere near that happening. So, um, yeah, I would love the idea of this being a reality. I just don't think that it's true. I don't think there's any shot that this is even being discussed by Marvel at all. Yeah, I think it's just one of those like bait, like 
made up bait posts yep. but like easily it's like well guess there was too much backlash they decided not to go with her after all dude i've had to like with twitter like i've had to it's i've so had to bad, mute dude. i've had to mute so many fucking accounts like uh, those parody accounts are fucking horrible like the parody right. like political people and shit or elon musk or, or well, whatever you know like matt wallace like oh no I, I've, I've muted uh matt wallace and there's another guy jackson hinkle is that his name yeah yeah oh my god dude like these people well, their 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 rage farming is just. I've muted so many fucking people on Twitter because it's just bullshit. Like yeah, the, I, I Matt Wallace is the guy that's that got Matt like the him. Is he the one with him and Elon in the background picture with Doge? Yes, yes, yes I have him I, muted. I can't yes, fucking stand that dude. And it like, um, and a, a bunch of people will believe anything that anyone tweets for some reason. I, I don't know why, but yeah. um. Obviously, with like the Trump dance becoming such a big thing in the NFL and stuff like that, he just put out a tweet. Rumors are circulating that the NFL is going to ban the Trump dance. <laughs> Literally, the first time anyone has said that was him. Yeah. Him saying that. And now, of course, people are running with it. I got people in the Sports Wars comment section. Oh, did you guys hear the reports? But Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> this fucking piece. Of, it's, the, it's like the Mike Zero shit. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It's it's bad. It really. The, I've muted so many people on Twitter now. The engagement just because, farming fucks. Yeah, it's crazy. But hey, that's the internet for you. Hey, what do it's you still, notice about this picture? It's still oh, better than Jack Dorsey's. Taylor Swift just did this random thirteen second clip. Notice anything? It's like nothing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is still better than Jack Dorsey's Twitter, though. Sure, I just fucking hate people. Yeah. We agree. Um, we agree. And I, and I hate people that believe retarded people like that. <laughs> um, I like how you, I hate people and I hate people that believe in retarded people like that. <laughs> I do, dude. It makes me so mad. 